welcome to this workshop on the musicology dimension of the 2013 music syllabus. The workshop focuses on designing assessment instruments which effectively address the evaluation cognition from objective two. Looking at the standards matrix from the syllabus, notice that the cognitions are highlighted in blue while the qualitative words are highlighted in beige. The standards describe how well the objectives have been demonstrated the objectives describe what the student should know and be able to do. The cognitions are most clearly represented at the C level and are highlighted in blue. Each objective contains multiple cognitions. Effective musicology tasks assess each cognition in each objective. This diagram demonstrates the order in which students engage with the objectives. They first perceive and interpret music elements. When they perceive, they recognise and identify music elements, and when they interpret, they explain the meaning. At an A standard, students demonstrate discerning perception and interpretation of relevant music elements. After perceiving and interpreting, students use this information to analyse or dissect the music, to examine its parts and its interrelationships. Using the findings from the perception, interpretation and analysis, they can then evaluate or assign merit according to criteria. Finally, in Objective 3, students synthesise findings from Objectives 1 and 2 to form and communicate a coherent argument or viewpoint, justified with supporting evidence from the music. An effective musicology task assesses all their cognitions and provides opportunities for students to demonstrate the standards from A to E. Providing a clear context and purpose is essential for an effective musicology task. In musicology, the context refers to the circumstances in which the music occurs and the purpose refers to the role of the music within the identified context. Purpose can also refer to the student's purpose in the task, what the student is required to do. The context provides a real life or authentic situation for the task. Through the context, the criteria for the evaluation emerges. This example illustrates how this is done. Evaluation requires the assigning of merit according to criteria. What determines the criteria? How are the criteria established? The criteria emerge from the context and purpose of the music. This example shows how the context of the music determines the relevant criteria. The context has been clearly established. An opera festival with a dark or dramatic theme, the sting of the scorpion, an aria which conveys the mood of revenge and wrath. What is the purpose of the task? The task requires students to evaluate the aria to determine whether or not it's suitable for the opera festival. Students must identify the criteria which will be used to make the decision about its inclusion. Before students can evaluate, they must first perceive and interpret the music elements and then analyse the aria. Students will need to identify how music elements would be manipulated to best convey this mood. What would we expect to hear in music which conveyed this mood? Composers would typically manipulate music elements in particular ways to create this mood. This anticipated manipulation of music elements will form the criteria for the evaluation. How the music meets the criteria will determine how appropriate and suitable it is likely to be for the chosen context. Focusing on four music elements, pitch, texture, timbre, and expressive devices. How might a composer use the element of pitch to create this mood? Using a minor key and chords might convey a dark quality. Use of some dissonance would also be likely. To create a sense of agitation and energy, a melodic contour which was frequently ascending and which used upward leaps might be anticipated. The contrasting use of thick and thin textures, especially sudden contrasts, adds drama and a degree of unpredictability. With timbre, bright, powerful brass and percussion might effectively convey anger. Strings in the upper register might convey the tension and passion of the character. Contrasting dark tonal colours in the lower strings, woodwind, brass and timpani might create a sense of malevolence. The use of unexpected extremes of dynamics might create an unsettling quality. Accents would be used for emphasis and powerful crescendos adding drama to the music. These anticipated criteria would be used to evaluate the music to determine its suitability for the context. 
Is there evidence of the music elements being manipulated in this fashion? If so, to what degree? This will determine the final decision or music viewpoint as to whether or not the aria would be suitable for its purpose. So this is how an effective task allows students to demonstrate all of the cognitions, in particular, evaluation. How do students have the opportunity to demonstrate the standards from AUE? Is there opportunity to demonstrate discerning perception and interpretation, comprehensive and discerning analysis and evaluation, and discerning synthesis of findings, well-supported justification, and convincing communication of music ideas? The scope and scale of this task allow students to effectively demonstrate both the cognitions and the standards of this dimension. The scope of the context is narrow and defined, an opera festival which is a dark and dramatic theme. The scale of the task is also narrow and defined. Consider a single aria to determine its suitability for the festival. Repertoire choice is also a critical factor in providing opportunity to demonstrate the range of standards. Using the Queen of the Night aria provides opportunity as it contains some ambiguities, ensuring there is not an obvious decision as a result of the evaluation. The Queen of the Night aria meets most of the anticipated criteria, but there are subtle but significant aspects to the music which do not make the selection of this music an obvious choice. While the choice of timbres features only limited brass and percussion, it conveys the desired mood. As well, evidence of tremolos and mordants on the beat and the strings created a fluttering, agitated quality in the music. The music is in a minor key, D minor, used minor chords and an ascending melody in the upper register. A student demonstrating discerning interpretation and analysis would notice that the music modulates to the major key F major, as the soprano sings a beautiful florid melody. This does not match the anticipated criteria and allows discerning evaluation to weigh this fact when deciding whether or not this music would be suitable for its purpose. A student evaluating the aria in this context must decide how successfully the music evokes the mood of revenge and wrath. Students demonstrating A qualities would determine the extent to which the identified criteria are present in the music. Any unexpected use of elements which also contribute to the music's suitability, as well as other aspects of the music which do not convey the desired mood. Repertoire which allows for these possibilities will give students the opportunity to be discerning in their interpretation and analysis. The extent to which the music meets the criteria will determine the music viewpoint. Students have evaluated how successfully the music conveys the mood of revenge and wrath by measuring to what extent the music matched the identified criteria. They formed and communicated a music viewpoint as a result of the evaluation. This assessment instrument has effectively provided students with the opportunity to demonstrate the three musicology objectives and the range of standards.